An international feminist leader is being honored in Peoria for her legacy. Rosario Dominguez joins us in the studio to tell us what some community members did to celebrate the life of this Peoria native. Rosario. Lauren, community leaders are dedicating a memorial bench at the Upper Bradley Park to remember Betty Friedan. She is the author of the feminine mystic book, which influenced the fem feminist movement. Those who are aware of her impact want to make sure that she's not forgotten. Betty cared very much about Peoria, and she feels that, that she wouldn't have ever had this success. Her, her book, Feminine Mystique, mm -hmm. which changed people's lives. Betty Friedan was a Peoria native who changed the world. That's according to leaders who have dedicated time and effort to make sure Friedan leaves a mark in her hometown. She contributed so much, not just to this community, but to the nation and to the world. She was way ahead of her time in understanding that women have always been capable of doing everything that a man can do. Friedan took long walks with her dad at the Bradley Park and played with her friends there when she was a child. Because of its significance, it was a perfect place for a dedication. And how appropriate it's here in this park, across from her um, home, um, by a children's playground, everything, of course, um, symbolizing what she stood for as far as promoting women, but promoting families. Barb Drake was a journalist who got to interview Friedan while she was alive. She says Peoria shaped her. I think it's important to know how much she took out of her hometown. And she said that she learned the can-do spirit in Peoria. And she learned that if you organized, you could get things done. To some, this might just be one more bench at a park. But for others, it can encourage others to learn more about Peoria's role in history. And as you saw, the plaque on the bench reads, Pura Native Who Changed the World. Sponsors say that they hope that this inspires people to learn more about Friedan.